Good evening. And welcome, Superintendent Fulce, Associate Superintendent Jabia, and Board President Ms. Mullet, and Vice President Mr. Derman, and all board members, supervisors, family, and guests. This evening, we kick off the 2017-18 school year entertainment and arts reception, which take place prior to our school board meetings each month. In order to highlight the work that our students are doing throughout the district in their area of fine arts. I would like to draw your attention to the art on the atrium walls for September. This artwork was created by students in Ms. Tanya Hendon's art classes at Mandeville Junior High and Montley on Junior High. Please take a moment to enjoy their artistic talents later tonight. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce tonight's entertainment. As in keeping with this year's theme together, the music, theater, chorus, and dance students from Covington High School will come together to perform a medley from their opening production of The Fantastics, which opens next week on September 21st. This opening disco medley features students from Miss Holly Flatman's dance classes, music student, students Haley Breziak and Tristan Head will follow with Soon It's Going to Rain from Fantastics, followed by the intermediate and advanced choirs together performing Thankful. And the finale in which all of the students join together to close out tonight's entertainment. Music, theater, choral, and dance department chair, Dr. Rick Watkins, music instructor, Cedric Bridges, dance teacher, Holly Flatman, and principal, Dr. Robert DeRoche, are proud to have their students share their talents with us tonight. Without further ado, I give you Covington High School music, theater, course, and dance students.
today is fractured. Parts of it are broken. Parts of it are hurting. Parts of it are lost. People hate for no reason and they forget how to love. People forget that we are nothing without each other. But they forget even more that we have the ability to become everything. We have the power to change the world but it's going to take all of us. We have been given a gift and it's up to us to pull together and become a beacon for the future. We have love, we have life, and we have each other. And that I'm thankful for. And you should be too.
everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight um, for our school board meeting for Sept the uh, St. Tammy Parish School Board meeting, September 14th, 2017. Could we have roll call, please? Mrs. Mullet? Present. Mr. Hennigan? Mrs. Heinz? Here. Mr. Darman? Here. Mr. Loop? Mr. Harrell? Here. Mr. Nation? Here. Mr. Jeter? Here. Mrs. Seeley? Present. Mrs. Drucker? Here. Mr. Bencourt? Here. Mr. Womack? Here. Mr. Hersey? Here. Mr. Kuzan? Here. Mrs. Belisario? Here. Thank you, Mrs. Coakley. Would everyone please rise? Mrs. Heinz will say the invocation and lead us in the pledge. Would you bow your heads with me, please? On this beautiful fall evening, we ask that you bring comfort to our neighbors as they will rebuild their schools and communities following the recent hurricanes. Be with us tonight as we make important decisions for our parish schools. Please guide us in our decision making. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mrs. Heinz. Okay. School board members, do we have anyone that would like to uh, recognize visitors tonight? Mrs. Belisario. I would like to recognize Robert Broom, former school board member. Good evening, Mr. Broom. Happy, to, happy that you're here with us. Robin. Yes, Mr. Nation. I'd like to recognize our clerk of court here tonight, uh, Melissa Henry. Welcome. We're happy to have you as well. Thanks for joining us. Okay, we're going to move uh, to special recognitions. And Mr. Javia, you have remarks for National School Lunch Week. Thank you, Ms. Mullet. You can tell Mr. Kose wrote these notes for me. President Harry S. Truman signed the National School Lunch Act in 1946. This was a direct result of men not able to pass the physical when drafted for service during World War II. Congress passed the act as a matter of national security to safeguard the health and well-being of the nation's children. Since 1962, schools have celebrated National School Lunch Week in October. The School Nutrition Association has cooked up a clever and highly appropriate theme this year, School Lunch Recipes for Success. Our goal is to tell students, parents, and others in our community about the recipes that make St. Tammany's lunch program special. By recipes, we mean all the ingredients that make our cafeterias outstanding. Our people, special activities, decorations, and our commitment to good health and nutrition. I would also like to personally thank our food service supervisor, Ms. Pat Ferris, and the entire food service staff for their hard work and dedication to our kids and to our system. Ms. Peggy Seeley will now read the resolution recognizing National School Lunch Week in the St. Tammany Parish Schools. Ms. Seeley. Thank you. 
whereas the week of October 9 through 13, 2017, has been named National School Lunch Week, and whereas School Lunch Recipes for Success is the theme for this year's school lunch celebration, and whereas the National School Lunch Program is dedicated to the health and well-being of our nation's children and has served our country for 70 years through advanced practices and nutrition education, and whereas the cafeteria staff across the St. Tammany Parish Public School System serve approximately 9,900 breakfasts and 23,000 500 lunches each day, and whereas many parents, grandparents, school board members, state and local officials will be visiting our schools during this special week. And now, therefore, be it resolved that the St. Tammany Parish School Board publicly thanks the Student Nutrition Advisory Councils Mrs. Pat Ferris, Supervisor of School Food Services, and her staff and the school food service managers and technicians at each school for providing an excellent school food service program for our school system. Be it further resolved that this resolution be spread upon the official minutes of this board with copies being sent to each school's principal. Student Nutrition Advisory Council and cafeteria staff and to Mrs. Ferris and her staff as testimonial of this board's recognition of their outstanding endeavors. I do so at this time and I'm honored to offer a motion to accept this resolution. Okay, do we have a second? A unanimous second. A unanimous second? Okay, a unanimous second it is. Mrs. Coakley, can you um, put the, um, we're going we're gonna to use our machines to vote. Okay, there we go. And it's unanimously passed. Thank you so much, Ms. Seeley. Appreciate Thank that. Thank you, Mr. Javi, as well. Okay, next for special recognitions, we have National School Public Relations Association, NSPRA Awards. Um, remarks, Superintendent False. Thank you, Ms. Mullet, board members. Tonight, I'm honored to share with you some of our most recent the communication awards from the National School Public Relations Association, also known as INSPRA. The first award goes to communication specialist Chris Yendel for a project he created in his second month on the job. Chris, come on up. Chris earned an honorable mention for School Systems Black History Month social media campaign called Celebrating Our African American Legacy. Congratulations, Chris. Since Chris is getting the award, somebody else gets to take the picture this time. There you uh, go. Chris has his wife and two children with him here as well, so we want to welcome them to our school system as well. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Next up, we had another honorable mention for our weekly administrator email that goes out every Monday, every Sunday night. Trey's Team Talk, created by Communications Manager Angela Davison and Communications Director Meredith Mendez. And uh, I want to say, too, Angela has her mom here, Jan Ms. Janice, who's a former administrator in our school system, so we'd like to have her here as well. Good evening. These two also won the Award of Merit for the school district for our social media campaign last year, and I will have an award for them for that as well, for distinguished achievement in the category of school district social media. Same, too. Okay.
The next level award is called the NASPRA Golden Achievement Award, and that went to the team of Meredith and Angela for the, you may remember, the St. Tanny Parish Public School System CARES fundraiser for fund relief, encompassing our strategy and implementation through publications and electronic media. Uh, big congratulations to both of them. This was certainly a, a campaign that we were all proud of to give to those less fortunate to the flood, and it certainly was an opportunity for us to give back, and we, they helped us capture that throughout this whole state, so we thank them for that as well. Thank you. And finally, the big award goes, called the National Award of Excellence, goes to Angela for the branding and imaging package of our theme of last year, STPPS Be Inspired. Quite an accomplishment. Uh, if you look and see the different school systems that we competed against across the country for these awards and for Angela to be recognized for that, certainly proud of her and the work that she does for our school system, making sure everyone knows all the great things that are going on. So congratulations. And let me just say, it's a small staff, but I'm um, led by Meredith. They do a great job of um, spreading the word of everything that's going on in our school system. And then, as you know, we continue to grow our social media platform. And because of the work that these people do, these three, um, we're doing a great job with that. And I'm very proud of them. And I know you are as well. Board members. So thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations again to all three of you. It is, it's a big job because we have a lot of wonderful things to um, promote in this school system. So thanks again. Anyone else have any comments? Okay. We're going to move along. We had no one tonight for public comments, um, no one for five minutes and no one for three minutes. So we're going to move um, on to our agenda items. Okay, agenda item A, to consider and take action with respect to adopting a resolution recognizing the final form and execution of the bond purchase agreement in connection with the issuance of, of and sale of 25 million general obligation school bonds, series 2017 of St. Tammany Parish Wide School District, number 12, of the Parish of St. Tammany, State of Louisiana, and providing other matters in connection therewith. Do I have a motion? Mr. Womack? Second. Mrs. Seeley seconded that. Okay, if everyone goes, um, we'll just go to your machines to uh, vote. Oh, I'm sorry? I have to get used to this board. You're right. Uh, any comments from board members? And, and we do have Mr. Grant. Sluter, would you, would you like to say anything, Mr. Sluter? Absolutely. I apologize. I'm kind of getting used to doing this um, machines. We did report at the committee that the uh, 25 million, the last issue from the 2013 voter authorization, uh, was priced at a 2.92 percent true interest cost. Uh, Raymond James, the underwriter, investment banker, priced those bonds successfully, and the bond purchase agreement was executed. Uh, there is a premium of slightly in excess of $3.5 million uh, bid in connection with that issue that will provide additional uh, construction funds for projects. Uh, you did maintain your AA rating. Again, uh, uh, the highest in the state, there's no higher. Only a handful have that AA rating. Uh, and we're going to deliver this issue September 28th. Funds will be in the bank ready for project costs. It's wonderful. Let me back up and ask if there's any comments or questions from board members. Okay, seeing none, we thank you for all thank your you. hard work and this wonderful news, and we're ready to vote. Thank you. All right. Oh, you do have a comment. At, public comment. Oh, public comment. Thank you, Ms. Thank you, Ms. Heinz. Are there anyone else with a public comment? Seeing no one else with public comment, please vote. All right, motion carries. Thanks again, Mr. Sluter. Okay, next we have approval of the minutes for the regular meeting held August 10th, 2017. Do I have a motion to accept those? I move. Mr. Jeter? Second. 
Okay, seconded by Mrs. Strucker. Are there any comments from board members? Are any comments from the public? Seeing none, would you please vote? Okay, motion carries. Thank you. Item C, approval of the minutes for the public hearing held August 24th, 2017. Do I have a motion to accept those minutes? Move. Second. Mr. Womack, seconded by Mr. Jeter. Do we have any comments or questions from board members? Comments from the public? Seeing none, please vote. Okay, we have all, but Mr. Harrell was absent, so he abstained. Okay, we have uh, item D, appropriate retirement resolutions of the following certificated personnel subsequent, subsequent to August 10th, 2017. Mr. Jabby, do you have those names for us? I do. Thank you, Ms. Mullet. Michael R. Matern, Fountain Blue High, 39.11 years. 20.11 years in St. Tammany Parish. Naomi E. Schmidt, Slidell Pupil Appraisal, 30.05 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Second. Second. Okay, Ms. Heinz. Seconded by Mr. Derman. Any questions or comments from board members? Comments from the public? Seeing none, if you would please vote. Thank you. Motion carries. Appropriate retirement resolution for the following non-certificated personnel subsequent to J August 10th, 2017. Mr. Jabia. Lucinda J. Roberts, Shataima Elementary, 26.75 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Deborah R. Peralta, Lake Harbor Middle, 27.78 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Eloise L. Brown, North Shore High, 13.23 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Alvin L. Perino, Six Ward Elementary, 7.14 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Michelle S. Page, Transportation Center, 10.59 years, all in St. Tammany Parish. Thank you, Mr. Jabia. Ms. Seely moves. Ms. Drucker seconds it. Do we have any comments or questions from board members? Comments from the public? Seeing none, if you would please vote. <coughs> okay. Sorry, Ms. Coakley. Am I going too fast for you? No, it just wasn't okay. clear. Mr. Womack? Mr. Womack? Would you like nope. to vote, nope. Mr. Womack? There you go. There you go. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay, motion carries. Thank you all. <clears throat> okay, we're going to move along uh, to the approval of recommendations from the committee as a whole meeting for Business Affairs Administrative held September 7th. And Mr. Nations, I think we were pretty busy that night. We were. Thank you, Madam President. Our first recommendation tonight is to recommend acceptance of final revised budgets for fiscal year 2016-2017, and I so move. Okay, Mr. Nation makes a motion. Mrs. Heinz seconds it. Do I have any comments or questions from board members? Mr. Mr. Derman. Um, thank you, Ms. Mullen. I just wanted um, to commend Superintendent and his staff for giving us a balanced budget again this year, um, but also taking into fact of our limited funds that are coming from the state or the declining of funds coming from the state and having to supplement that with more local funds and still being able to give our uh, employees a, a salary increase. So that's been kind of long in coming, but because of budgetary issues, we are trying to do the best we can with what we have. So I just wanted to commend him and his staff and everyone working together to come up with a budget, I think, that works for everybody, including our constituents. Thank you, Mr. Derman. Mr. Nation. Thank you, Madam President. 
I want to echo Mr. Derman's remarks, but but this you know, on the final budgets for last year, the concluding oh, budgets. That's, that's all. No, that's okay. Um, that uh, uh, Mr. Fultz and his staff, particularly Ms. Prevost and others, uh, were very conscious. Not only did we adopt a balanced budget, but we maintained a balanced budget uh, th throughout the throughout the year. So, thank you for all the hard work you do to uh, make that happen. Because it. Absolutely. Thank you. Mr. Derman. <laughs> Ms. Foley, can you move my comments to the next item? On that? <laughs> I think we can do that. Any other comments or questions from board members? And that time on the dance floor messed you up. <laughs> <laughs> oxygen. Any comments from the public? Seeing none. Okay, we're voting on the uh, final revised budget for fiscal year 2016-17. Okay, motion carries. Thank you. Mr. Nation? Okay. Uh, next to nine is to recommend acceptance of the following resolution to adopt uh, Superintendent Folt's proposed budgets for fiscal year 27 2018. Whereas the St. Tammany Parish School Board ha held a board meeting on September 7, 2017, to receive and discuss information related to the proposed budgets for fiscal year 2017 and 2018. And whereas the St. Tammany Parish School Board advertised in the St. Tammany Farmer on August 3, 2017 and August 10, 2017, that a public hearing would be held for public participation in the budgets for fiscal year 2017-2018. And whereas the public hearing was held on August 24, 2017, now therefore be it resolved that the St. Tammany Parish School Board does hereby adopt the St. Tammany Parish School Board budgets for fiscal year 27 2018, and I so move. Second. Okay. Mr. Nation made that motion, and it was seconded by Mr. Jeter. Do we have any comments or questions from board members regarding this motion? I just echo what I said before. Okay. <laughs> Ms. Mullet, I will uh, reiterate uh, what I said, but in short form, uh, at our meeting, I want again want to piggyback on Mr. Derman's uh, comments regarding the proposed budgets as well as to commend the superintendent for not, and his staff for not only proposing a balanced budget for the fourth consecutive year, but to do so uh, in, in a manner which also is, was able to give our teachers an average 3% uh, raise. Uh, so uh, kudos to you and, and to your staff uh, for Thank doing you. that, as well as, uh, you know, focusing about 76% of monies towards instructional services. So, again, good job. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nation. Any other comments from board members? Ms. Hines. And, and I'd just like to echo what I said last week, that I appreciate the fact that the looking at the budget is an ongoing and, and daily thing in our school system, and updates are given to the board members, and we appreciate that, and we think that's a very important Absolutely. part of our budgeting process. It is. Thank you very much. Okay, seeing no other, uh, no other comments from board members, any comments from the public regarding, the bu which, regarding this budget? Seeing none, would you all... Please vote. <coughs> Wonderful. Motion carries. Mr. Nation? Our third item tonight is to consider Superintendent Folt's recommendation that the March 2008 bond issue package be revised to allow $25 million for a new advanced studies high school to be redirected to help address critical growth needs at Madisonville Elementary School and Mandeville High School. And I so move. I okay, Mr. Nation makes a motion. Is it Drucker seconds? Any comments from board members? Ms. Heinz? <laughs> you know, I believe that the board, um, in, when we passed this bond issue back in 2008, uh, really had hopes of building this new advanced studies high school. But uh, as we all know, the many things happened after that. Uh, and the, we, the project did not come together, but we do feel fortunate that we have these funds uh, to redirect to these critical uh, needs that are at Madisonville Elementary and Mandeville High School. 
and <coughs> we feel that our funds will be very well spent with these projects. And we appreciate the fact that I believe that most uh, all of the board is on uh, board for this and uh, sees the importance of this. Thank you, Mrs. Hines. Any other comments or questions from board members? Oh, Mr. Nation. Thank you, Madam President. Again, I want to uh, hope that the board will, you know, again, accept this uh, uh, consideration tonight. I think it's a wise move by the administration and certainly as not only as a school board member, but as a parent of a child that will be entering Mandeville High School next year. Uh, I certainly, and, and having had two children already graduate from Mandeville High School, I certainly understand the, the critical growth needs from a firsthand perspective uh, at, at the school. So uh, again, uh, it's much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nation. Mrs. Drucker. Thank you, Madam President. I echo both um, Ms. Hines and Mr. Nations, I have a daughter who's a sophomore at Manuel High, so I'm there at least two days a week. And so, I mean, we as a board recognize the importance of the critical needs area, and it is a parish decision for the entire school district. It is not an east or west decision, and I just want to make sure that we are clear that we are one parish, one district. And so, and this is all of our students. So this is the most critical need, and you know, you know, I represent the Madisonville Elementary School District as well as my daughter goes to Mandel High. So I see that both schools are extremely challenged, and this will help with the seed money to start with some building, and it'll start immediately. So we thank you, and I hope that the rest of our board members feel the same way, and that we are in favor in this for a positive vote. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Drucker. Mr. Kuzan? I think this is a perfect example of how this board worked together to meet the needs of the students of St. Tammany Parish. And this is the directive of this board is to meet the needs of all the students in the parish, regardless of where the problems come up or where the priorities come up. We're here to meet those needs. So this is just an example, as I mentioned in a meeting last week. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kuzan. Okay, seeing no other remarks, any comments from the public? Okay, seeing none, would you please vote? Okay, thank you. Motion carries. Mr. Nation? Item four is to recommend acceptance to continue with the architectural firms that were previously recommended by the Screening and Evaluation Committee and approved by the board for work at Madisonville Elementary School and Mandeville High School, and I so move. Mr. Drucker? Okay. Mr. Uh, Nation Mood, Mr. Drucker second. Any questions or comments from board members? Any comments from the public? Okay, seeing none, would you please vote? Thank you, motion carries. Item five, Mr. Nation. Item five is to recommend acceptance of the lowest responsive and responsible base bid submitted by JAC Construction of South Louisiana, LLC, in the amount of $328,268 for the alteration of the historic museum located at Bayou Lacombe Middle School STPSB project number P0090. And I move. Mr. Jeter? Oh, I'll, I'll, okay, Ms. Drucker? Second set. Any comments or questions from board members? Mr. Derman? Mr. Javi, I, can you just give us a brief overview again? I know we did this in, in our uh, committee meeting, but I, if you could just a little brief overview of what this route, what we're voting on here tonight yes sir on the grounds of Bayou Lacombe Middle School is the original one room schoolhouse that's had a couple of additions onto it now uh, it is on the historical register uh, it's very important to the community to the students and the people in in, in Lacombe and we've talked with the uh, the uh, directors of the museum they have a lot of plans for expanding 
of what they're going to do in the community and offer to our schools. So we think this is an important project that we can uh, bring this building up to code. It is way out of code. The, the bathrooms are not in ADA compliance. Uh, the ramp, the uh, HVAC system is not good. And there's a lot of artifacts in that building that needs to be controlled by humidity, air, et cetera. So we think this is very important, uh, not only to the school system, but to the entire community. And if, if I remember right from the committee meeting when we discussed it, we're under a lease or a binding agreement to maintain the facility, and by law we have to keep it up to code. Yes, sir. Uh, many years ago, this board uh, approved uh, an agreement with the uh, Bayou Lacombe Museum directors that we would still own the building and we would maintain the building and they would run the museum. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. German. Mr. Betancourt. <coughs> thank you, Ms. <coughs> Ms. Mullet. Mr. Jabia or else Ms. Tipton, have we done business with the JAC construction before? Where's Ms. Tipton? You get a little information this on them? This is their first job with us. Okay. They, everything looks okay though with them, huh? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Betancourt. Okay, no other comments or questions from board members. Any comments from the public? Seeing none, would you please vote? Motion carries. Mr. Nation. Item six is to recommend acceptance of the lowest responsive and responsible base bid submitted by Vocal McWilliams Construction LLC in the amount of one million six hundred and seventy three thousand for the first floor build out at Lancaster Elementary School STPSB project number one seven zero one. So moved. Second. Okay. Mr. Rocker, seconded by Ms. Okay. Okay. Any comments or questions from board members? Comments from the public? Oh, I'm sorry, Ms. Drucker. I'm looking at y'all and not paying it. Sorry, Ms. Drucker. Comments, Ms. Drucker. I just want to make a comment that this allows us, in passing this, it allows us to complete the bottom floor of Lancaster on the, on the the West Wing, and that the second floor has been already completed. It is already in use right now. So it allows us to complete the entire wing of the West Side, which gives us, I believe, another 12 classrooms. A total of 24. 12 so a total of 24. So if anyone's been to the Madisonville schools, this will tremendously help us. And so I just urge that, again, us all working together, that this will pass. Thank you. Seeing no one's name on the screen. Any comments from the public? Seeing none, please vote. Motion carries. Thank you. Mr. Nation. Thank you. And our last uh, recommendation is to accept uh, Alton Elementary School parking lot as substantially complete subject to architect's recommendations, submission of all regulatory requirements, and approval of Superintendent Foles, STPSB project number P0139. So moved. Second. Okay. Motion by Mr. Kuzan, seconded by Ms. Seeley. Any comments from board members? Mr. Kuzan. I'd just like to thank the superintendent and the staff on behalf of Alton Elementary School because the teachers had, and the staff had nowhere to park and right now we have a beautiful parking lot that's been done. So on behalf of Alton, I'd like to thank the board, the superintendent and the staff for helping us get this project done. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Kuzan. No other questions? Any comments from, any comments from the public? Seeing none, please vote. Motion carried. Carries. Mr. Nation, is that all? That's it. But before I um, we can, I conclude, I do want to give a shout out um, to Miss Tipton. She does a fantastic job for the school system, and uh, she there's a lot of work on her plate, and um, 
uh, glad that we're able to have her on the staff and uh, and glad that she'll be, she's got a little more money to, to work with now for so some more work for you, Ms. Tipton. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Nation. Okay. Our last agenda item, Agenda G, Certif uh, Certification of Board Members, Neil M. Hennigan, Elizabeth B. Heintz, Michael J. Derman, Stephen J. Jack Loop III, Michael C. Nation, Willie B. Jeter, Peggy H. Seeley, Sharon Lowe Drucker, Ronald Ron Betancourt, Robert R. R. Bob Womack, Robin P. Mullet, and Dennis S. Kuzan in completion of one hour of training for 2017, presented on September 7, 2017, as mandated by the Louisiana Revised Statute 17, 53. Remarks, Superintendent Fultz. Thank you, Ms. Mullet. Do indeed certify that the board members that were named did indeed participate in the training on September 7th as required by law. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Superintendent Falls. Um, I have a few announcements. We would like to thank the students from Mandeville Junior High School in Monteleon Junior High School for the beautiful artwork displayed this month in the atrium. Their art teacher is Ms. Tanya Hendon. We'd also like to thank Covington High School Music Theater chorus and dance students. Wasn't that incredible? That was fantastic. Absolutely. They entertained us before the meeting tonight, and if anyone, you, if anybody missed it, you, I think they do have a show coming up, so we can give you that information. Okay, their teachers are Mr. Bridges, Dr. Watson, Mrs. Uh, uh, Flatman, and Mr. Mendoza. Okay. The next committee as a whole meeting will be held October 5th at 7 p.m., and there will be a special board meeting following the October 5th committee as a whole meeting. So please, uh, school board members, mark your calendar um, that there's two meetings that night. Okay, seeing nothing uh, else to be brought, uh, everyone have a wonderful evening. Meeting adjourned. Thank you. Yes.